So for the last two days, people been hassling me on my IG because as you guys see in the, the intro clips right there, uh, I sold my Jetta. I just felt it was its time. No Volkswagen slander at all. Like honestly, the reason I got the Jetta was because of at the time it was a money situation, it was available and it was manual. So picked it up and honestly, from the day I got it, I enjoyed every single second of driving it even if it's eh, i'm gonna try it i'm gonna try my best to make it me and stand out from people instead of blending in so i love the jetta and people will really remember the jetta for the small things that i did like the custom headlight work or even cut, cutting my damn springs or even my exhaust sound you know so you know that jetta has a special place in my heart r.i.p to the jetta anyways back to the back to the new car people have been hassling me for the last two days trying to wonder what car i got people are saying you'll just reveal it but i'm revealing it now okay just y'all gotta be patient sometimes man i told you i'm gonna reveal it just i put in the story that i'm reverting back to my jdm roots which i did in the story or in some of the responses i told people to post the make and model of what they think it is and people were saying um mazda because that's what really blew up my my car that's what i started my car account as dubs daily three People are saying, oh, you got a 2.5 hatch or you got the Speed 3. Other people are saying you got Acura. Other people are saying you got Honda Civic. You know, listen, everything in JDM. But I'm here to settle it now, all right? So there's no more questions that has to be asked. You guys are just gonna, you guys are gonna see it now, all right? Like, you know you love your car when you gotta, you just gotta look back at it just because, you know, like, I got plans for this, man. But anyways, I'm gonna show y'all right now. Yes, sir. That's what we got, man. Acura RSX. It's an O2 specifically. Got the K2083. It's the premium trim, so we got that leather interior. I'm gonna show y'all in, in a few seconds. Got some rust at the quarters, of course. Yep, in the in the wheel well too. Nothing too crazy, man. Same thing on the next side. This side looks a little extended, actually, but nothing i'm too worried about and i you know i thankful for my experience in the body shop that i got to work with over the summer you know i repaired my my quarters on my jetta so i'll be able to take care of this i'm not really tripping about it got rust on there too but nothing too crazy it's completely primer the person that i got it from of course he had it as a project too at first and then he had it ready for paint but just stopped working with this project and he got something else so now i'm taking that over so yeah, completely primed right now. We got some rust on the hood too, but nothing, nothing crazy. Not everything I'm willing to work with. So yeah, here she is, man. O2 RSX Premium Trim. Let me show you guys the interior. Got the leather seats. You got you got a little rips here, but again, I got plans for this shit, so I'm not really tripping. Oh, I'm loving it. I'm loving. It. Got some wheels in the back. I'll get into that shortly. Thick, of course i removed the shift boot because it was ripped but shout out to my boy nathan aka lord eighth gen i popped up at his spot the same day i got this whip and he was able to give me some mooch is it moojin or moogin i honestly do not know how to properly pronounce it but y'all let me know in the comments i don't know if you'd be able to actually tell me in the comments because you're just typing and not saying it but anyways i also got a intake manifold from him i'm gonna show y'all shortly but here she is, really nothing, nothing too much to show you guys because it's pretty much bone stock right now. Besides the double dim, we got a Pioneer double dim. I need to fix this. This, that needs to get sorted out. But yeah, bro, really like, oh, actually, uh, Magnaflow exhaust. Honestly though, this, this looks very, very very honda-ish so i will be changing this out you know make it a little more me it doesn't sound too bad but honestly my only issue with honda's four cylinders specifically is that 
they just whenever they get exhaust done to it like whenever they get any exhaust work it sounds too high pitch and raspy i don't know i feel like it's it's every honda that sounds like that i'm gonna find a way to try and give these um these motors and the exhaust like a deeper deeper sound to it but yeah as i said not really much to talk about um definitely some body work that needs to be done some parts are going to be replaced i'm contemplating doing the 0506 front end swap where these bubbles at the bottom of the headlights aren't there but i'm not 100 percent sure yet um front bumper i want to change i still got my lip kit that i was going to use on my jetta oh i guess i could put it on this now um it is carbon or carbon fiber um i did see a wide body kit available that's also like I, I got plans i'm gonna leave save that for another video i got a whole bunch of things i want to do this definitely has to get lowered i gotta get rid of the steelies speaking of steelies give me one second actually is it open speaking of steelies i got these tl rims that also came with it these are actually for sale if anyone wants them 17 inch tl rims they're on what 235 45s so yeah i'm not really gonna be i i don't i was contemplating using them but i'd rather just get the money out of it yeah smokey hi hi anyways as i was saying these are currently for sale if anyone's interested y'all holla at me you know where to find me man message me on ig link is in the description another gift from my boy nathan man we got a valve cover here really appreciate it i really do appreciate it. this guy he literally just just gave me some free parts so i just mess your shit right now but here's a spare intake manifold along with the thought about it that he gave me off of a k20 z2 engine uh he said he's not 100 sure if this will fit i'm not 100 sure but um we'll see what happens i'm gonna have to just do some more research see what parts can be swapped see what can stay with my motor and yeah man this guy this guy blessed me yo shout out to bro man let me get this thing started up for you guys Another issue that I found with this car, my brake pedal is spongy, so that's gonna have to get sorted out. Um, my e-brake cable is pretty weak. According to the guy that I bought it from, he said that it needs to be uh, it needs to be tightened, but I'm gonna have to do further inspections on that. Let me pop the hood for you guys. All right. Oh. There you go, man. Detect, baby. So I guess it's not 100% stock. I got an engine cold air intake. Um, yeah, that's about it. Battery needs to be placed. These terminals are corroded. Um, yeah, there's there's work to be done. But again, plans. I'll save that for another video. Uh, yeah, really not much to talk about, guys. I'm gonna rev it up for you guys quick. Let you guys hear what it sounds like. Mm -hmm. Boy, am I gonna have fun with this, man? There you go, guys, man. It's a new whip, it's a new project. Let me give you guys one last walkthrough. That's a new baby, man. But this one I'm gonna do a little bit differently, though. Um, with the Mazda and the Jedi, I was going more for aesthetics, you know, making sure the exterior and interior look good specifically. But this one, I'm going to definitely do both of those. But I'm also going to try and push for more power because Honda's Acuras, they do have a lot of potential. Depending on the motor, almost any motor kind of has potential with them, you know. And parts are very accessible and definitely a lot cheaper. And as far as maintenance goes, it's slightly easier, easier to work on than other vehicles the mileage is at 253,000 kilometers it's roughly around there as far as hondas go it's you know it's not bad but it's definitely getting up there but eventually i might i might even drop a k24 a2 up in there man so y'all yeah, stay tuned bro like i'm looking at it and i got i got so many things planned out for it but yeah y'all stay tuned man like, comment, subscribe, share. You guys know the vibes, man. Follow me on IG, dubzilly dot underscore, underscore, oh, dubzilly dot. The link is in the description. I don't even remember my own damn Instagram. The link's in the description. You guys follow that, all right? Stay tuned with this build. RIP to Jetta, all right? Yeah, that's about it, man. I'm out. <laughs>